Schliger will lead it off. He is their catcher, and we are underway from College Park. Great to have you with us. And the payoff hit pretty well. Schliger watching it go. How do you do? Luke Schliger leads off the game with a home run. This place had a roof on it. It would erupt. Talk about pimping a bomb, admiring it, backflip, the whole kit and caboodle. Luke Schliger gets the Terps on the board. One big swing. For the regionals. Walked him. Gary Williams, lefty Dressels. That ball gets away. And Johnson overthrew it. Maybe some nerves factoring in. The best ones could block it out. And that one was bounced in there by Johnson. He gripped that hard. And we have the bases loaded for UConn. Two pitches. I would I would agree. There's one and he missed. And he also just walked in the tying run. So Morton with the RBI. Casey Davis scores. And UConn has tied it up at one. 28 inherited runners against Hein this year. 13 have scored, and he just hit a batter. And that will score another run for UConn. So it is unraveled for the Terps. What's going on for their pitching staff? You don't want to know about any other superhero qualities. Donlin lost it to center. A lead towards the track. Looks up. It's a grand slam. Matt Donlin is second home run of the regional. How do you like that? Capitalizing on miscues coming through in the clutch. This is what we've seen from the Huskies throughout this regional, quieting this rabid crowd. That you see just a great balance swing right, right there. Saw so way Sunday. too many of those curveballs. He was bound to get a good swing on them. Line drive on one hop in front of Schreffler for a hit. Dead, it goes in the gap and almost gets by. It does for a moment. A lean can't track it down. And Padilla on a hit and run advances to third. And Simmons moves up to second of the grass. And that's to right. Should be deep enough. Here comes the throw by Schreppler. Padilla sliding in safely with the seventh Huskies run of the night. So Matt Donlin has five RBIs. 2-1, chopped, charging in is Matt Shaw for the third out. A dangerous hitter. And he gives this one a ride. A rude awakening for Stelflug. It is a goner. David Smith, the second home run of the night for UConn. And they lead 8-1, his ninth of the season. Just as I talked about him being dangerous. He proves it true right there. This is an excellent swing. Switch hitting, leadoff batter. Puts a charge into it. No doubt. Of it. And a great bat flip. <laughs> Get a piece of it, goes by Schliger, throw to first, not in time. Sounded like he got a piece of I it. Thought he tipped it, right? Yeah. Cranks it to left, bouncing up against the wall. Wide turn by Stock, he'll score easily, and Padilla is loving the five hole. That's his 35th RBI of the season, and Yukon. He's coasting in College Park. This is just an outstanding job. We see on the scouting report 
has quick hands on the inside part of the plate. Look how he gets those hands inside. That's actually an elevated fastball. Pulls those hands inside, gets the big part of the barrel on it. Back from Tommy John's surgery, draft eligible. As that's bounced to third and Nick LaRusso. For Ian Cook, but then he settled in. I mean, he's done a phenomenal job. How much more does he have left in the tank? He doesn't see it. Son of a gun. He doesn't see it. Um, he's got a lot left in the tank. He's got a, you know, he's got a good arm. He's got a rubber arm. He's got a point. This one in the gap. Here comes Smarzlak around first to score the second Terps run. And Kevin Keister is some kind of hot. Here come the Terps. Straight away center. Schliger missed the first pitch. Luke Schliger. He has his second hit of the evening. First one a home run. Hits. Off the glove of Donlin gets by. As the runners move up. And this one's cranked to right. But dropped by Dana. Oh my. Run scores. Throw gets by. And it's a rattling attack for the Huskies. Strange things happen at the bottom. Shaw with 20 multi-hit games on the season. That one gets by Donlin. And another run scores. Schlinger hits the plate for the fourth run of the game, the third of the inning. One of eight players on the team with nine or more home runs. And it goes up the middle for a base hit. Here comes the runner around third to score the fifth run of the game. Welcome to a new ball game in College Park. Where no lead is safe. RBI, Chris Ruffler. He's ahead of Costas. T.C. Simmons diving attempt. He's got it. A web gem for T.C. Simmons. Consistent season for the Huskies. But he walks him. That's been the problem for Maryland pitching all night. Swing and a miss, throw down to second. Out of the glove of Shaw. As T.C. Simmons has a stolen base. Hit and run on. Bushling, the liner. Sending around third, Pender says, go home, T.C. Simmons. And it's 10 to 5, UConn. Zach Bushling, an unsung hero for the Huskies. They tack on another one. Called straight three. Second time, Stock is struck it out. And there he is, one of the toughest outs in college baseball. Backhand by Dana, throw into second, not in time. Luke Schliger gives him some juice to start the seventh. You're wondering how that happened. Well hit to right by a lead, and that one's not coming back. Bubba Aline, All-American, Golden Spike semifinalist, Big Ten Player of the Year. How'd that one be your resume? This is the question mark. Austin Peterson having to face the one, two, three in this lineup. And Bubba Aline puts a charge in it. Two run bomb to bring this game within three. Just got it. That's a good thing for Bushling. Long throw. Gets by Huber. Look out. Smarzlak in the second. That sparks them to lead off the eighth. In the regionals, there's been any number of comebacks. This one's ripped to right. That should be their eighth run of the game. Tracked down by Dana. Here comes the run scoring. It's Marslak. And at second base, the fired up Kevin Keister says, look out for the Terps. Here we go. If a reaction says it all, that was it.
Yes, sir. Love the energy. Two strike hitting. Outside, pitcher's pitch. You can see, sticks the bat out there, pokes it where it's pitched. It's a nice job tracking it down by Casey Dana. Didn't really have a chance to get the speedy keister at second base, but not allowing that to get to the wall. Chopper. He scored a run. Look out, he threw it away. He's too worried about the runner coming home. Keister scores. Huber's down. And it's a one-run game. The call him out. My goodness. Take another look. Well, this is a tough play. You got the speed busting it out of the batter's box. But he's in, he's in foul territory. He didn't go in fair territory. I don't know what else he could have done. This is the tricky part. What else could Chris Aline have done? Like, he, he's trying to avoid Huber, and you, you got to hope that Huber is not seriously hurt. But he's in fair territory there. But look at the little, like, I don't know what else he could have done as a base runner to avoid the contact. I don't think he could have done anything else. It was just. Yeah. He is out. He goes back to third base, too. You got it. Call wow. confirmed. Field since the jump at the bob to shorten Padilla on the run for the out. So the disappointment in College Park it resonates. You can hear it. Pitched an inning and allowed two runs. Stock down the line. He's been quiet, but not this time. The wide turn at first, and he scampers to second for the stand-up double. Geography shocker. Padilla, looping line drive in there for a base hit. Big time at bat for Padilla, and another run for the Huskies. They tack on an insurance run. And I want to talk about an unheralded player of this regional. That guy right there, Brian Padilla, the pride of Brooklyn. But he does his job. The third over to first for the out, and that does it. They leave the bases juice. Costas, pretty well hit. Simmons tracks it down, and the Huskies can celebrate. Survive and advance, alive and well for UConn. Pay advance to the Super Regional.